Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all held by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIMS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morningship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 19 of half yearly 2021 and today's SW number will be 10. My dear student, our today's topic is chapter 3 CBQ 5. Today is our last class of this chapter. Dear student, today CBQ 5 will be your CW and it is also your SW. Okay. I repeat, your CBQ also SW. So, my dear student, let us start to solve this math. At first, we read the question. So, CBQ 5 is Hali of banana cost 20 taka that means the price of on Hali banana is 20 taka okay Mr. Rohim a person who bought 12 Hali bananas okay my dear student notice this is the stem price of on Hali banana is given which is 20 taka and Mr. Rohim bought 12 honey bananas, 12 honey bananas, okay. By using this information, we shall solve question number A, B and C, okay. So, what is question number A? Question number A is, how much money Mr. Rohim spent for buying bananas? That means, Mr. Rohim spends how much money to spend 12 honey bananas because he uh, buy, uh, bought 12 honey bananas. So, how can we find out? We uh, know the price of one honey banana is 20 taka. So, the price of 12 honey banana is hot. It is more for this multiplication will happen. If we multiply 12 with 20, then we get the answer of question number A. I hope you have understood. Okay, question number B. If he distributes four honey bananas among four person, how many will be raised? That means, dear student, uh, Mr. Rohim has how many bananas? He has 12 Hali bananas. Okay, from the 12 Halis, he distribute 4 Hali bananas. So, rest how many bananas? Four, uh, 12 minus 4 and it will be 8 Hali bananas. But here, the question asks you how many. So, we convert this Hali into things. We know that on Hali equal to 4 things. So, 8 Hali equal to how many things? We multiply 8 with 4 and we get 8 for the 32. So, 32 bananas will be the answer of question number B. Okay. Question number C is what? If he wants to distribute one Hali banana is among 15 person, how much more money he needed? Dear student, notice he bought 12 Hali bananas. But question number C's condition is he wants to distribute one Hali banana among 15 persons. So, in order to distributing 15 person, uh, one Hali banana is he needs 15 Hali banana. Okay. But from question number A, we have already found the total uh, price of 12 Hali bananas. Okay. So, in this section, we need to find out the price of 15 Hali bananas. After that, we subtract 12 Hali bananas amount with the uh, from the uh, uh, price of 15 Halis bananas and we get the required amount of money which he need extra okay I hope you have understood now we start to solve this question so question number a how much money Mr. Rohim spent for buying bananas that means here you notice the price of on Hali banana is given which is 20 taka and also given Mr. Rohim bought 12 Hali bananas okay so right C, B, Q, 5, A number question. The price of one Hali banana is 20 taka. Okay. Now, we need to find out the, the price of 12 Hali bananas. 12 Hali bananas is we multiply 12 with 12 sorry 20 with 12 taka okay now 12 zero jar 0 12 to jar 24 taka okay so 
it is bear in mind that you must memorize time table 1 to 20 as a result multiplication is easier for you so 12 zeros are 0 and 12 twos are 24 taka you can also multiply this 20 by 2 then 20 by 1 after that we add then you get the answer okay so 240 taka so mr now we need to write mr rohim spent spends 240 taka for buying 12 hali bananas and answer is 240 taka this is the answer of question number a okay next we shall need to solve question number b okay in order to solve question number b we erase question number a okay question number b is if he distributes four holly bananas among four person how many will be raised that means mr Roim had how how many bananas he had 12 honey bananas at first we need to write given that b number given that mr rohim had 12 holly bananas okay then uh, he on therefore he distributes he distribute four holly bananas then rest of the bananas rest of the bananas equal to 12 minus 4 holly that means 8 holly we want to convert this holly into things we know one holly banana equal to four bananas okay therefore eight holly banana equal bananas equal to 4 multiply by 8 bananas 4 8 are 32 bananas this is the answer 32 bananas i hope you have understood okay this is the solution of question number b next we shall solve question number c Okay. Question number C is if he wants to distribute one holly banana is among 15 person, how much more money he needed? My dear students, from question number A, we have already found that Mr. Rohim spends 240 taka for buying 12 honey bananas. So at first we write this. Question number C. From A we get, from A we get, Mr. Rohim spends 240 taka for buying 12 Hali bananas. Now he wants to distribute on Hali banana is among 15 persons. So one person get on Hali bananas. So 15 person get how much bananas? We need to find out that. 
one person get gets one hali banana therefore 15 persons get one multiply by 15 hali bananas that means 15 hali bananas now we need to find out the price of this 15 halis bananas right first the price of one hali banana is one hali banana is 20 taka which is given in the stem okay now we need to find out the price of 15 hali banana is 15 hali bananas is 20 multiply by 15 taka 15 zero are 0 and 15 two are 30 so 300 taka dear student notice how much more money he needed so if he want to distribute 15 hali banana among these 15 persons then he needs how much more money how much more money so he has already bought 250 takas bananas okay but he need to buy uh, 300 300 takas bananas okay so we subtract this 240 from this 300 and we get the required amount of more money so right mr rohim needs 300 minus 240 taka more that means 0 and 6 60 taka more okay and it is the answer 60 taka i hope you have understood this is question number c dear student it is your sw also you must do this sw in our sw copy and submit it regularly in our school in every saturday within 9 am to 3 pm so my dear student our today's lecture is finished keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu